So you want to become a Mandalorian? Well, one of the first steps, the helmet. Join me today as we make the helmet. See you guys inside. Hello and welcome to today's video. So, I'm changing up. We're going back to a project. So, you guys saw me make Becoming the Mandalorian Part 1, where I made the helmet and I made the chest piece. Well, I'll be honest, I get so many darn questions on this piece that I decided to turn around and do a let's, let's how to make it of just the Mandalorian helmet. So, this was a one piece print for me. It may not be for you. You need to keep that in mind depending on your printer size, but I'm going to walk you through how to set how I set this one up and got it to print to where it would fit on my head. So, let's hop over to the computer and do that. But first, before we do that, please like, subscribe, and share the channel, guys. It, it takes you to help build this channel stronger, and I appreciate every subscriber that we get. If there's something that you want to see printed, leave me a comment down below. You got questions, leave them. I've got them. I will try to answer you or help you find the answer to get that question answered. So, and you know, share the video with your family, friends, you know, share it out to the world, social media, anything you got. The bigger we can grow this channel, the more projects I can do. And also, I'm working on setting up a Patreon, so hopefully you guys will do that. And if you're new to 3D printing, down in below is a link to my master class that I created of Get Started Quickly with 3D Printing. So, let's get on over to the computer. Alright, so here we are at the computer, and as you can see, I have the model that I use to print my helmet up in front of me, in front of me, made by the Broken Nerd 83. This guy did a really good job in making this model. I can't stress how good of a model this one was. It was fairly simple to work with, and it, I will correct the statement I said, it's actually printed in three pieces. There are two pieces that go over each, one that goes over each ear that is separate from the model. But in all tall, the full build of the model is done in one. Now, one thing I'm going to talk about, we're going to hop over to Kira here real quick. I'm using a Creality CR10 to print this model. So that should say right here, we have a build area of 300 by 300 by 400, which is fairly big. So with that said, if you have the Ender 3, and I've had a lot of people ask me, can I print this on an Ender 3? That's why I'm even going back to this video is to try to talk about this. You have a 235 by 235 by 250 build area. It's a lot smaller build area. Not as far as the X and the Y, but you do have a big difference in your height. And that's going to cause a problem for anybody wanting to do this on the Ender 3. So what you need to consider is you may have to take this model and take it over to Mesh Mixer and cut it up into a few pieces to actually get that. Now, if you want to see me make that video, leave me a comment down below and I will take a look at making that mesh mixer, how to cut this up to be printable so you can assemble it together. Um, actually, I do have a video coming of a Space Marine helmet that was in multiple pieces and I'll show you guys that one. That's coming up probably next month. But circling back, we're doing this on a CR10. So I'm going to go back, I'm going to activate that printer and we're going to bring the model in. So. Uh, Mandalorian and here we go CR 10 activate so I'm back on it close out okay we got our CR 10 build area now right now as I'm doing this I've got a raft of 10 millimeter I'm gonna knock that down to five you shouldn't need I'm I do a raft I'm building on a glass plate um, this is a pretty big model yes it, some people says it weighs PLA it gives it's just insurance on your bet adhesion and with a model like this you're going to be using a lot of pla you want that guy not to move on that bed so i'm going with a raft so let's get this guy on the plate load this model up and there we go there's the helmet at 100 percent now what i found for me was i actually turned it this way so again here we've got some mathematics we can do there is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty so you can factor each one of those blocks if I'm correct is ten millimeters 
by 10 by 400 high. So here's where your mathematics come in. You can figure out how far across the helmet it is, how far to the back, and your helmet height so that you guys can scale this to fit your head. Now, actually, I'm going to take something back because I never tried it. Let's switch to uh, let's switch to the Ender 3. I doubt this is going to fit. Yeah. So there's trying to put the helmet on an Ender 3. It's just too big. Now what you can do is, you know, slice it in half and print each half to get this to work. But the CR10 does a good job with that 300 by 300 by 400 print area. The smaller print area just doesn't work for this guy. So as you can see, we're back in yellow, we're back in good. Now I tend to have, I had a little bit of a, I have a big head. <laughs> Not huge, but just kind of a thing. So, uh, where is it? It's over here. I'm gonna scale up to 105, just to be on the safe side. And the other thing I noticed when I did this was, look how it sits. See all this gap? So I also rotated it back a little bit. Well, no, that didn't work. It that 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 didn't work. Uh, lay flat. We'll let Kira do our work for us. I'm using Kira 4.62, just FYI, and it twir twirled it all around. So let's get this camera position. I want my front view. You notice now it doesn't fit on the build plate. Hmm, I wonder why. If you turn it, it'll fit. So basically, the raft is going to lay. It's going to build support. I don't know why my why these are being just off enough to to be an issue. Because I think when I did set face to line, it was it got wonky too. Yeah, it did. So I did print with the rise and the support. So it consumes a lot of PLA, yes. And mine, when I built it, I did an infill. I didn't do very much infill at all. So support, 85% overhang angle. I think I did that at 70, but where is infill? Wall thickness, there's all my settings, guys. I'll just take you down the line here of what I used. Um, retraction, you want to enable. Uh, material, I'm using inlay, Inland PLA Pro Plus uh, white filament is what I'll use, what I use to print. And enable retraction, Z-hop when retracted. These right here can be very important so you don't get a lot of stringing. These settings work great on my CR10 V2 um, and my CR10. Um, if you look back at some videos that I had, you notice I had a horrible stringing problem. That fixed it for me right there. Infill percentage density, I'm going to go with 10% because this is going to eat a ton of PLA, guys. Um, I think when I did this, this helmet alone, I used three quarters of a spool. But I had a lot of support, which I'm going to knock my support down to 75% because you've got to support this opening as it comes up. Not, need, not even just to say, you've got to support this dome. You've got to have a support up here or when you get up towards that top, you're risking a collapse up here. So let's slice it and let's just take a look at it. So you're going to have to play with your slicer settings. Some of you guys I know don't use Kira. Some of you guys use other things. But what's important here is just finding the best fit. Again, now if you guys have the smaller printer and you want to see me cut it up in mesh mixer and that, leave a comment down below. Let me know you want to see mesh mixer breaking down of a model. I will gladly make that video. Um, but for right now, I'm just showing you how to make the helmet um, the way that I did it. Um, now, I know there's some printers out there that, like the Sunlu 8, I believe, has the print volume. I think it's, um, it has the print volume. A lot of printers that have that 300 by 300 by 400 or higher can easily do this print. So, and then these right ear, left ear pieces, these guys are teeny. I would pop it on, but I want to finish the slicing because I want to look. The key to looking at this guy is the support. Now, here it is right here. That's almost a full spool of filament. But let's pop over to preview. I may have my support overhang up way too high. But there is going to be a lot of wasted material um, when it comes to supports. And I think I have the supports up too high. Yeah, I do. 
So, because you're going to have the center support, and you've got the raft, and then you've got all of this support that you're going to have to print in here. So I'll go ahead and get down to this. And there's all this support. Now my support's up too high. 75 was too much. Let's pop up to 80. Let's re-slice this model. And you got to just figure out what fits for you. Um, I may even knock my infill down some more. 10% may be too much. I'm, maybe I did two. But you got to find what works with what you have. But definitely one of the things, this piece took more filament than I think my entire chest piece combined took to make this one piece. So do, 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 do as we slice. Um, if you guys are enjoying this content, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit leave comments down below, share this channel, please. It does help out the channel. The more viewers we get, the more projects I can do. Um, and that's always a great thing and more things like this. Um, we do have some upcoming projects coming, but I'll get to that, to that, back to that here in a second. So here's a better ratio, 776 gram. I think this is exactly where I was. That's Microsoft time, four days, 10 hours. Yeah, that's Microsoft time. It took my printer six days to do this. Oh, I don't like this. It cut down too much support down here. So I'm gonna go back to the 75%. I am gonna drop the infill percentage down even more. I'm gonna go to 2%. Matter of fact, that is what I did was 2%. I'm looking back at some of my older notes and yep, 2% was what mine was. So not a lot of infill, but honestly, you're gonna put this on your head. You don't want it to be heavy. It's gonna be heavy enough just being on your head. Um, and then what I did, um, if you go back to the first video, I, and I'll put a link in it for this one too, on Amazon, I just purchased a gray, dark gray face shield and cut it out and put it in the center. Um, it worked really well. It gives the, the tint that you want, and it, you can cut it to fit in the groove really easily. So it was kind of one of those really good things. But talking about some upcoming videos, you saw the Mandalorian rifle. If you haven't, it's on the channel. Go take a look. Um, part two of the armor of me painting and putting the arm, the chest armor on and all of that. I've still got to do the leg armor. Um, but we also have the Mandalorian blasters coming. So stick around. Hopefully you guys will enjoy that one. So here we go. This should be the final setting. 792 is just right on the mark of what I'd expect. Um, now, this is a nerve-wracking print. It was even for me because you're going for days. Now, see, I like this a lot better. I like this, and I like the support that it's giving. I did not like that gap and putting all the pressure right here. Then you still got the central support to support the dome when we get up top. And honestly, when I took this support out of here, it came out real easy. I didn't have a hard time doing it. And there you go. There's the Mandalorian helmet ready to be printed. So let's get over to the printer. Let's get this printed. We'll see you guys over there. product. I didn't show how to print the ear pieces, but they're pretty straightforward. They're simple little laid down print it. But this is the helmet. All support removed, cut away. And for me, my mine at the 105% fits like a charm on my face. I did take the visor out for this piece because like I said, I'll put a link in the description below and you can get that put in there you guys self to make your own Mandalorian helmet. But this was a pretty awesome project. Ah, I did this for Halloween. If you guys want to see more of the Mandalorian armor, uh, there is also a Mandalorian rifle video out on the channel as well, where I printed his entire rifle in one in some pretty cool sets of prints. So, if you guys are out there, you want to see more and start making your own Mandalorian armor, here's where you start. If you guys want to see me make, want to see the chest piece or any of those other pieces made of the armor, leave a comment down below. Let me know you want to see it. But this is the way, and we will see you guys next time.